Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook waffle fries in a cast iron skillet. Let me show you what you're going to need. Okay everybody, all you're going to need to do this is a large deep pan like this if you're going to deep fry it like me or a regular pan. I'll show you what to do on that. You're going to need a crinkle cutter or a mandolin and large russet potato. If it's just you, if not, just add more potatoes. And that's all you're going to need. Okay, after you got your pan filled up halfway with oil, if it's a regular pan, pretty good amount if it's deep like mine. Now you're going to take and cut off the first end. Make sure it's straight down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit more. Got to make sure it's straight. Okay, now you can do it two ways, I'll show you, but um, my head's going to get in the way. If you've ever seen my knife review video, you'll know I can't see and it's pretty dangerous for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to go across the grain and you can do it like at a quarter degree turn or a half a turn. And I'll leave instructions um, in the description box. So you're going to come at it about right here. If you got a mandolin, just keep adjusting it lucky you you spent 50 bucks and you can make these easy so when you're slicing down like I said my head's in the way you want to come up where this is through each little groove on the bottom and don't come over the top and I'll show you a couple before I get start doing it myself see how I'm coming through just under the top just under there and that's what you want to do it's not going to be perfect with the hand cutter but it's still going to work out just as good so what you're going to want to do now is put these in water and that's going to do three things it's going to take the starch out and make it taste good instead of kind of funny and it's going to keep it fresh while you might have to stop doing this and go do something else. Go see what the kids are doing. Okay, that's the last of them. Did the best I could. It's really hard um, to, to get it evenly. You'll have to get some potatoes in practice. Just don't get... Um, if you start seeing just a ruffle like that, that means you're not close enough to the edge. And then if you do it too, then too close, it's going to look like that. So these are going to soak for a couple minutes and get the rest of that out. And then I'm going to line them on paper towels to dry out while we're heating up to stoke the pan. Okay, these have been soaking. All the starch is out. Notice how long they lasted. If I wouldn't have done this, these would turn brown already. So as soon as the stove's heated up, we're going to drop them in. Okay, you can cook these at two temperatures, medium high and high. And I just cleaned my stove, so I'm going to cook them on medium high. All right, if you got a, something big and slotted, it's going to be really cool when, you, when you're doing this. I don't. I used to have one. So I just toss them in there. Don't recommend you do that at home. Okay, so we're going to let these cook. We're going to keep an eye on them. And we're going to... Now, <coughs> excuse me. Not all of these are, are um, perfect. So they're going to cook up different. And I'm going to show you, you know, how they come up if you don't cut them right. So that reason and the other reason is, is I'm tired of cutting and I'm hungry. This is sea salt. I just put it into a smaller container. That's what I use. It's going to be better than salt, I think. All right. I think we can start pulling them out. And you want to salt them as soon as you get them out. That's the best time. While well, they're still a little bit oily and wet. 
I've made some before there. They're really good. Like I say, the only difference is they won't cook up perfect unless you cut them perfect. If you got a mandolin, go ahead and use it and get that $50 worth that you paid for it. These are really good. If the video does well, I'll show you guys how to do crinkle cut fries using the same little cutter. And you can also do it on a on a mandolin. All right. So you don't want to like burn them. Just want to get them crispy. Looks about right. See how the ones that are thicker on one side are uneven. This is pretty good. That's what you want. But naturally, this is basically half a chip and half of a waffle fryer. Now, the best thing to eat them with is ranch dressing. Go ahead and turn the stove off. Ranch dressing or, you know, ketchup, but I like ranch. Loving on fried zucchini too. I have a video on that. It'll be in the playlist at the end. So now is when you really want to salt it. And I'll go ahead and taste it here in one second. There you have the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and give her a taste now. Crispy. These are good. One more. Just to be sure. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember, don't hate. Congratulate. And go check out Amy at House of Escobar. See ya.